Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to another novice photographer episode. <clears throat> um, I apologise for the uh, shake in the camera. I've not got my gimbal out with me today. I'm just on a sort of GoPro selfie stick, so there will be a bit of wobble like that. <coughs> Um, I'm not using the dead cat on the end of my iPhone either. I've got a uh, lapel mic, which you might just be able to see there, just below my carabiner, which I've got uh, linked into my phone. So I'm hoping that's working okay. Um, so I've come out again with the uh, Nikon D7000. And in the previous video, um, I talked about the frustrations I went through with regards to not knowing what I was actually out photographing, photographing, photographing. Um, I went out with the uh, 80 to 400 millimeter lens, not the 70 to 400 millimeter lens that I was quoting in the previous video. Um, I had that with me. I also had my 55 to 200 millimeter lens for landscape photography and obviously this one for wildlife photography and as I was walking around the nature reserve I was swapping lenses over putting the bag down getting the tripod out putting it on the tripod taking it off the tripod putting it back on the harness and it just got all very stressful and it was only during the drive home that I realized that I need to decide prior to going out what type of photography um, I want to do and just stick with it and so that's exactly what I've done today I've decided just to come out for a walk down the canal and uh, I've literally just got this lens I've not brought my tripod and um, I do have the monopod um, just in my backpack there and uh, I've got a drink something to eat and I've literally just come down the canal just for a pleasant walk and it's been very relaxing and as I've been walking along um, I've just been snapping photos <laughs> the irony irony of it is that I've probably taken more landscape <laughs> photographs than I have wildlife photos but that is another lesson learned just because I've got that lens on and I'm doing wildlife photography doesn't mean I can't do any landscape photography. So as I've been walking down the canal, I've seen a composition. I thought, yeah, that looks all right. Obviously I have to be at distance because of the length of the lens. And uh, I've just been taking photographs that way. So I definitely need to decide on what I'm gonna come out with before I head out on a sort of trip or an adventure um, it's much less stressful and it just makes your day more enjoyable uh, you're not having to worry about all your gear and your kit you're just enjoying the walk and when the opportunity arises you get to snap the photo and that's exactly what I've been doing today so uh, like I say I have managed to capture some photos um, I got a photo of a I think it was a kestrel I've not actually looked properly at the photo but I think it was a kestrel um, but other than that not a lot really when it, on the wildlife front it's all just been landscape photos but uh, I'll put a little montage up now and uh, show you what I've taken Right, so I just thought I'd take this opportunity just to go through uh, what's in my bag. Uh, this is a new bag that I've recently purchased. I wanted a small uh, camera bag uh, just for day trips and this is the one I, uh, I went for. 
the only downside to this bag is I can't actually attach a tripod um, but what I have found is this pocket here is quite deep goes right down to the bottom and uh, I've just got my uh, monopod in there which obviously is one of the legs of my tripod so that just goes in there um, on the front here or on the back whichever way you want to look at it um, I've got a solar panel which I will come back to got my drink just in the side there it's got a sort of mesh pocket on that side and same on that side and I'm only out for a few hours so I don't need much um, got another section on the top where I've just got a bit of food and a foam mat if you ever need to sit on the grass and that is sort of half of the bag that section the other section is taken up with this bit at the back which is all nicely padded and vented and this is where I keep all my camera gear so uh, I've got my 55 to 200 millimeter Nikon lens there um, I had no intention of using that today but it's just in there there's room so I just thought I'd leave it in it's not heavy um, I've got whoop, got a lens cleaning kit uh, it's the Polaroid one with the sort of carbon pad for cleaning your lens and a brush. Uh, there's a link down in the description if you want to have a look at that. Uh, cloths, microfiber cloth, uh, just the caps for the lenses, and uh, two spare batteries, which I've not had to use. So that's what I've got in there, and uh, I've also got my microphone here, which also fits in there. Uh, this section here actually incidentally lifts out and it becomes a separate bag that you can just carry so I could take that out completely and just use that as a day sack if I wanted to so that's that bit so the solar panel and um, this is quite an old solar panel it's a voltaic outdoor solar panel it's very tough and um, it's weather resistant um, gives off 6 volts or 12 volts which is you can change the little switch inside here however uh, this one I got off eBay and it was slightly faulty and uh, the 6 volt side doesn't work and um, you have to have it on the 12 volt switch but on the 12 volt it actually gives out 6 volts so the 6 volts just gives out about 0.5 so there's something not right there but still works so we've got a little indicator light there just says it's charging and then inside you've got the power pack there you can see it's on three lights if I hold that up oh, you won't be able to see as it comes into the light you can see it's charging even when it's just tipped down that way it's still charging um, so you've got that uh, I've got the lead there for my phone so when my phone uh, gets low in power because I do quite a lot of recording with my iPhone I can recharge it. You've got lots of little attachments for different appliances. Uh, that's just a little wire stand that I've made so I can just put it like that and just angle the solar panel if I have it just on its own. So that's what that's in there for. So that's the panel, um, which I find very useful. But the only issue I had with this particular bag was attaching it to the, uh, the backpack so what I did is with this solar panel comes a lot of clips and straps which you can see there a lot of webbing and you can take these sort of uh, fasteners off there's a little slit in the plastic so you can unhook it off the webbing and you can put it wherever you like but I've put it there and there and then I've just attached some lead some webbing straps that came with the solar panel just through that buckle there and I've just put a little piece of paracord through the loop so it can't pull back through and then you've got the fastening there so that fastens at the bottom and then I did the same at the top but with another strap which I've just run through the back of the webbing and then it just goes round the back and that's elasticated and that just fits 
in the gap between the uh, raised padding of the backpack. So that goes in there and it holds the panel on and it's charging that uh, power pack ready for when I need it. So that's the Voltaic solar panel. Like I say, it's an old one. They do do, the company does do a newer version now. They're not cheap. Um, so uh, that's why I went for the one off eBay. But they're very hard to find. Um, I do have another version of this which is actually zipped in to a specific Voltaic backpack um, which is also very good but this one uh, doesn't have the zip it's just the webbing straps so that's how I uh, give myself more power when out on uh, on walks or hikes or adventures or treks or days out time for a drink and then we'll set off again A really nice day today. It was a bit warm yesterday. Today it's a really nice temperature. So if you are new to the channel and you uh, haven't yet subscribed then please do so by the uh, button down below or there'll be a, a link at the end of the video. Uh, like I say if you're a novice photographer I'll be doing a lot more of these and it's basically me going out learning photography because I am a complete beginner I've only just bought the DSLR in the last sort of month or so and uh, I'm just building up my kit and uh, building up my knowledge and uh, experience so if you've got any help or advice then please leave a comment below whether you're a novice photographer or an advanced photographer I just welcome the advice so uh, I'm gonna be making a lot of mistakes and taking a lot of bad photographs but that doesn't matter because that's how you learn Right, let's crack on. So that's about it for today. Um, lessons learned today are when you're going out, decide what you're going to photograph and just take that gear with you. But when you are out, don't worry about taking other photographs like landscape if you're out wildlife photography because uh, it doesn't matter. If you've got the lens for the right sort of situation, then uh, why not take a landscape photo? But uh, definitely having one set of kit for your day, day's photography is definitely less stressful. And I'll definitely be doing that again. So I hope you enjoyed that one. If you're a novice photographer, then uh, please subscribe because I'll be doing a lot more of these videos. And uh, if you've got any comments or ideas, tips, advice as a novice photographer, or if you're a... Uh, professional photographer or a advanced photographer then please leave comments and tips and advice because I certainly need it um, but I am enjoying the process so uh, I hope you'll join me on the next novice photographer episode but for now that's it thanks for watching give us a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next episode